glory, honor, and praise. Father, just thank you for being God and God. Father, just finding the word to be Father, you're so good. You are so awesome. You are so mighty. You are so wonderful. You are the God of Abraham. Praise you, my daddy. Oh, God, there is no one like you today. Father, as I just come before your throne, oh, God, I just come to lift you up today, Father. I just come to praise your name, to thank you, to bless you for all that you have done for me. Holy Spirit, and that all you continue to do, that you're awesome. Oh, Father, Father, just have mercy. Oh, blessed assurance is over. Oh, Daddy, Daddy, today I call upon your name. Oh, Daddy, 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 today is thou art awesome. Thou have brought me to a right. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank your name. Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Oh, mighty God of Daniel, Spirit, just fall that fresh upon the Holy Ghost. Just let your love, let your blood, oh God, just manifest to my life now. Manifest to all those, Father, that are coming to your presence. Oh, Father in heaven, those that come this morning, Father, just to look, oh, Father, don't you for a word. Father, just ask that your Holy Spirit will take control. I ask you, oh, Holy Ghost, just to watch over, Father. Ah, blessed Holy Ghost. Oh, until this hour, until this hour, sweetheart, until this hour, Holy Spirit, until this hour, King of King, until this hour, Lord of Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, oh. Oh, Father, 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 Father. Oh, we bless your name this hour. Oh, I praise you this hour. I glorify your name. I worship you this hour, Father. I bow before your King. I bow before your Lord. I bow before your conquering line of Judah. My daddy, my source, my reason, my everything. I just want to thank you now. I just want to bless your name. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Holy Ghost. Oh, take control. Just take control of every aspect of victory. Take every aspect. Father. Make us whole, Jehovah. Make us whole. Make us whole. Mighty one of Daniel. Oh, yes. Thank you, sweet spirit. Oh, God, every soul that is listening now. Huh? Everyone that draw close to your daddy. Help us to recognize your power. Recognize your presence. Uh, recognize who you are. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah today. Uh, Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Uh, you have done it again, Yahweh. Uh, you have done it again, Father. Father, you have done it again. Uh, oh, there is none, there is none. And it's crazy in this hour. My hour for giving thanks, grateful gratitude. Uh, oh, Father, as we come now, uh, we just humble ourselves before your Father. We humble ourselves for our direction. We humble ourselves uh, for our word. We humble ourselves, Father, knowing that. Uh, oh, God, I ask you to open my mouth. You promise to fill it with words to the Father, my Redeemer, my present helper, my all, my all, my all, oh yes, my all, 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 every, every, every situation, everything, Father, every single thing, every single blessed lamb, I just thank you now, I just praise you now, Holy Ghost, you are awesome. You are mighty, you are wonderful, you are more than who you are, you are so super sweet, mighty one, your promise, you declare and you deliver, Holy Ghost, I just bless you this hour, I thank you sweet Father, I thank you sweet Holy Spirit, I thank you, I thank you, oh, Father, let's just talk to you today, let us just talk to you to the Holy Spirit, let us just talk to you in fellowship, Oh, Father, bind us together. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Holy Ghost Spirit, I welcome you this hour. We welcome you this hour, sweet Holy Spirit. Oh, as you enter into the gates with thanksgiving, into your courts with praise. I just welcome you this hour, sweet Holy Spirit. 
I welcome you this morning, holy anointing. Let your power and your glory be manifested. Not just in me, but in those who trust in you. In those who believe upon your word. Hallelujah. I just ask you for mercy and compassion now. Mercy and compassion, sweet Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to your name, to the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Let your Holy Spirit to the Father take control. Oh, Father, for every situ single situation, Father, we depend upon you. You're our daddy today. You're everything to the Father. And so we just ask you now, hallelujah, that hallelujah, continue to just reverence before your Holy Spirit. Ah, we just bless your name to the Father. As every single situation, we know that you take control. We bless the name of Yahweh today. Truly this morning and another Sabbath day, amen wherein we have entered in his courts with praise. Amen. The word said we should be thankful unto him. Amen. And bless, bless, praise Yahweh, his name, for he alone is good. Amen. His mercies is everlasting and his truth continues to endure through all generation. Once again, here are we from Temple of Victory Deliverance House of Prayer. Amen. I am Bishop Merlin Dennis coming to you in no other name, but in the name of Yeshua of Nazareth, the name which is above all names, the name when he says every knee must bow and every tongue shall confess that he is king. We praise the name of Yahweh. Let me thank you all again for tuning in. Amen. This time and hour. Those of you for the first time and those of you that continues. Amen. To join us together to pull the name of Yeshua down. The name of Jesus. Amen. All the names. Amen. We praise his holy name today. Amen. Uh, while I'm just giving you a little chance just to settle, amen, I pray and I trust that you will just find a word that will soothe your soul today, a word that will make a difference, amen. And because of that, uh, I've been going through and I've been going through and I ask the Holy Spirit to continue to give me a word that continues to direct and I came across something that sits on me for a while. And the topic was a daddy that cannot be compared. Amen. I'm talking about a daddy, our father. Bless the name of Yahweh that cannot be compared. So I choose to go into the book of Matthew, Tiyaka, Amen, chapter 6. And I'm going to be reading today from verse 6 through 15. Amen. I will be reading from verses 6 through 15. Bless the name of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And the word begins thus. Be thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret. And thy father, which is in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their such speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for our father, and I say our daddy, knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask of him. Praise Yahweh. After this manner, therefore, pray our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us 
from evil. For thine is the kingdom, hallelujah, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Fifteenth, and I rest here. If ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. The word of Yahweh today, amen, is already blessed. We praise the name of Yahweh. Today, I am here to re-establish a relationship order. I'm here to remind all of us that our daddy operates originators. He does not op operate copycats. Let me say this again. Our daddy does not operate with copycats. He operates with originators. The acts of prayer or praying is something that us as believers, we need to visit that application. Us as believers, we need to understand the true processing of prayer. I heard this week the Holy Spirit was saying to me, enough of the babbling. Enough of the too many vain requests. So I choose to take the moment to break and to talk about the acts of prayer. First, the first thing to do, we have to learn how to adore our daddy. We need to understand what is adoration. We need to get from just going to say daddy and begin to go to daddy with an acknowledgement of adoration. Go to daddy in knowing that it's rewarding because of who your daddy is and because the acts of your dad, no matter what, you can go to daddy. You're my daddy. You are my only daddy. And that's the A. But when you look at the C, it's the confession portion. So first we have to look at dad. Acknowledge dad. And then you're going to say, daddy, I come. First John 1 verse 19 tells me, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The word here is faithfully. I went to dad and I acknowledged my dad. I let dad know that I come. And when dad sees me, then the next thing is, what do you need from me, my child? I come to tell you something, daddy. The book of Isaiah 6 verse 55 tells me, I just said, woe, said, woe is me, for I am undone. I'm a man of unclean, and I dwell in the midst of unclean. Bless your name, Holy Spirit. We're talking about confession. As I admit who he is, he said, I am a man of unclean, and I'm dwelling in the midst of it. And this is something that we as Christians, we need to begin to see ourselves, understand, and don't just feel like you can just jump over to say, our father. There are protocols in which we as believers need to follow according to the word of principle. There are protocols we need to follow in order to be on the side of deliverance. And when we poured everything, T comes with the thanksgiving for forgiveness. The righteous that he looks beyond my fault, bless the name of Yahweh. 
and he saw all my needs, he saw all my faults. But I glorify the name of Yahweh today. He keeps on blessing us in spite of. He keeps on saying, no matter what, you're still my child. So when you go and you confess, remember to give thanks for the forgiveness. Remember to give thanks for what he has just done, for he didn't have to do it, but he did. Oh, praise the name of Yahweh today. And when I get to the S, supplication, hallelujah, intercession on behalf of something or somebody. Remember Philippians 4, 6 to 8, Paul's the apostle says, be careful for nothing, but by everything in prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. Amen. So the peace of our daddy, which passed all understanding, will keep our hearts and mind on him. Amen. So if you understand this, you'll understand that he says, be careful for nothing. So we have to know how we walk. We have to know how we talk. The conversations that we become so engulfing, what we do. Paul is saying, be careful for nothing. Amen. Lest your requests be made known. Bless the name of Yahweh. So the peace of Yahweh, which we need at all times to, to build a vesture around us, that peace that we need, amen, to be always there, to be always uh, God in our hearts, God in our mind, God in our soul. We need that peace to be on us uh, through Yeshua HaMashiach, through Christ Yeshua, through him, the comfort to through him, our only present help. We love to sing the song, Yahweh prepare me, hallelujah. To be a sanctuary pure and holy. Our daddy has given us the instruction, amen, to his disciples, amen. So before we get to these songs, are we following the instructions? Are we walking in the precepts? Are we walking as he laid it in the word, amen? My daddy, our daddy has given us that, that, that road map. It is laid for us as Christians. It is laid for us as believers that we will walk in them, that will talk in them, and that we can excel in them. Bless the name of Yahweh. He told us not to use vain reputation as the heathen do. He said, our daddy, know what we need before we speak. Amen, somebody. So uh, when I look at this, I said, now that everything is fully established, in the word. We understand that believers pray asking their father how to pray as believers. But there was an instruction. We have a prayer that is an outer court prayer. And we have a praise in the holies of holies to get into the inner court. Are you with me? I said, you have an inner court and you have an outer court. So when we begin to delight ourselves in our father, in our daddy, he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. So when you're on the outside praising, amen, I come to tell somebody, you ain't got to be long and babbling all over the place. Amen. You ain't got to repeat yourself because my daddy is getting ready to overturn something. My daddy is getting ready to say to you, at all the outside is not there yet. But when you get on the inside, amen, when you get on the inner a court with praise, uh, where my whole is as whole is this, uh, amen, when you get into the inner court uh, and you begin, amen, uh, to exercise your faith, uh, exercise the form of your father, then and only then, uh, when he says, shut that door, uh, bless the name of Yahweh, you begin to see him opening a door way beyond uh, your imagination, uh, amen, he begin to do something uh, that supersedes uh, the natural from the outside because the mystery is behind the door. 
How long have we not spending enough time adoring him? How long have we not spending enough time in gratitude? Not spending enough time in thanksgiving? Not spending enough time to say, Father, without you I do not live. Without you I do not die. How many times have you gotten up before you say, Father, I need? How much time have you given thanks that you are still here? Before you begin to become the siren? How much time have you said joy bells ringing? How sweetly they sound? Hallelujah, there's a message uh, only Yeshua can bring. Uh, somebody need to understand. Uh, it's time to leave uh, the outer court uh, and bed in uh, to the inner courts of praise. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you need to spend more time adoring Yahweh. Uh, you need to spend more time uh, praying. Uh, uh, keep it short. Amen. Uh, keep it lo long inside uh, with your privacy. Bless the name of Yahweh. Uh, hallelujah. The word says uh, it's go in the closet and show Shut your door. Not everyone can handle your big prayer, somebody. Our daddy who is private, again, I'm going to tell you, is about to reward somebody openly. Our daddy who sits on the throne, our daddy who knows it all, is about to reward somebody. Bless the name of Yahweh. You Now you know that you have mastered all the steps. You know what to do. You know how to act. You know what to say. The act is already established. The forum is there acknowledge who your daddy is. Amen. So it's getting ready now to approach the commander in chief. Amen, somebody. I got to go now to approach my commander in chief. Because I have all my steps. Everything is in order. He has been talking to me in private. And all you have been going through. Somebody said the other day they realized their life is like a season. But why is our life like a season? Why is our situation seasonal? Our commander and chief has been talking to us in private so you can get ready for the open of, of you in the public. So when you begin to utter, hallelujah, the word daddy, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. I said when you begin to say daddy, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Hallelujah. Once you were in the inner courts. And that inner court anointing was flowing over you. Hallelujah. No Holy Ghost. When you open your mouth. And you say thou son of David. Have mercy upon me. You ain't got to touch a redial button. He is already, hallelujah, on the line. So when you go to the church, when you go to the temple, wherever you go, amen, you already have a fire, bless the name of Yahweh, blazing higher. So you are already on the line to connect for your victory. You are already, amen, talking about a daddy that cannot be compared. You are already exercising. You are already demonstrating. So you are just waiting uh, for the fire to be ignited uh, on the outer courts. Bless the name of Yahweh. Amen. I want to tell somebody today uh, there are two halves. Amen. One for our daddy and his glory. The other is for your request. Did you get that? I said one is for daddy and his glory. And the other is for your request. Amen. Until you can understand. I got to glorify him. I got to give him the best I can. I got to walk the walk. I got to talk the talk. I got to say what he wants me to say. I got to reverence him by the word. I got to follow the protocol. In which he laid in the word for me. 
I can't have bubbling lips. And then I run and say, God, I can't have two tongues. And then I'm running to him saying this, that, and the other. I got to understand who my commander is. I got to understand who my chief is. Hallelujah. The daddy that since we come into this planet, I need somebody to understand. We were told about this wonderful work. It's time for us to begin now to extend the position of your father whom we have adored. It's time for us to begin to say, Father, I got this now. I am tired of misreading. I'm tired of misinterpreting your word. But no good almighty Jehovah Jireh, children of the heavenly host, it's time to recognize that even the president, hallelujah, the prime minister, nobody, amen, can shake and bake like your daddy. It's time for you to understand that no matter who say what, no matter what come, no matter what go, when your daddy enters the forum, it's a difference. When your daddy takes control, it's a difference. But the situation is, you need to understand. You need to recognize until you place him fully as a commander and chief. Until you give him full authority. Until you begin to walk behind the Holy Spirit and not like in front of the Holy Spirit, then he won't be able to see or you cannot experience the shake and bake. The book of Romans 8.15, he said, we have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba Father. Amen, somebody. We ain't got no spirit of fear down here. We ain't got no spirit of what it is to go in a corner and cry to sleep. Ah, when you have the power, when you have the anointing, when you come from the inner court, you know to cry, Abba Father, my daddy Jehovah Jireh, my daddy my provider, my daddy the conquering line of Judah, my daddy my all in all, hallelujah today. He said we have the spirit of adoption, where is the fear? We come today to tell you something, that the fear is not of Yahweh, fear Yahweh and Yahweh alone. Now it's not the time to fear nothing, there's no time for doubt, there's no time for being weak, it's a time for going on, it's a time to press on. No longer should somebody be talking. Hey, my daddy wasn't around. Oh, bless the name of Yahweh. Ah, my daddy wasn't around. He is our daddy. No one can claim to be fatherless. You didn't hear me, somebody. It's time for you to stop saying your daddy wasn't around. It's time for you to stop saying what your daddy did. It's time for you to stop saying what your daddy never did for you. But oh, God Almighty, somebody need to know Ah, when daddy wasn't around. Our daddy, the supreme being, the conquering line of Judah, the one that created, the one that exists us in this world. He came around with mommy. Oh, bless the name of Yahweh. And he shoes a rugged part. He placed food on the table. He did all that he could have done as a father would. I want you to look at yourself now. I don't want you to be pity for yourself because daddy showed up and daddy made it all right. I bless the name of Yahweh. And look where he brought you from. Amen. Bless the name of Yahweh. And if somebody want to know what's your last name, tell them Holy Ghost. Because Holy Ghost, that dad, the one that died upon the cross, the one that set you and I free is the greatest daddy of all somebody. Ah, the scripture used the word, our father. He does not belong to a single person. Ah, it's not does not belong to the black. He does not belong to the white. My daddy is not exclusive. Whosoever will, he said, let them come. I want to tell you something today that too often we play the pretty party. Too often we say, I serve a dad. Oh, my father promised. You'll never leave me and you'll never forsake me. Hallelujah, that's true. Have you left him? At what point did you forsake him? At what point did you forget the manuscript? Hallelujah, somebody. But today I come to tell somebody 
I bless you all today that I serve a daddy that takes the mess. He takes the rejected. And while somebody didn't want anything to do with you and I, daddy said, that's my child. I know they mess up. I know they're bidding a pig's pen. Uh, oh, God Almighty, today. They're my child. There's a daddy that does not reject. There's a daddy that follows everything. There's a daddy that no matter how low you get, he's still there. And for all of this, I want to talk to somebody. Why are you still ungrateful? Why do you murmur like that? Why, 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 why somebody talk to me today? I come to talk to somebody that feels as if the broken relationship that you tend to dwell on, amen, hallelujah, with the earthly man that you say, daddy, is interfering with your spiritual relationship with your heavenly daddy. It's time now to become grateful. It's time now to see yourself. And it's time now to understand yourself. The hour has come. <laughs> The hour has come that we as Christians of the Most High begin to acknowledge our daddy as we were as children. Stop acting fatherless. Stop acting like you cannot be compared. Stop acting like anybody has a better chance than you. Stop acting like you're at the back. When is it going to happen for me? How is it going to happen for me? Why is it not happening for me? You need to understand the principle. You need to understand how to go to your daddy. Amen. You we ain't got the same mother, but I want to tell you it's the same father. Bless the name of the. So don't sing. Amen. You can tell him what to do with me. Don't think I can tell him what to do with you. Yahweh remains that job that he is God all by himself. Somebody needs to stop telling him what to do. Stop asking. He said, let his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Stop telling him how to write your life. Stop telling him where to start it from. Because his will alone can be done in your life. He's like no other because he is supreme. He's like no other because he can't do as you want him to do. Amen. And it doesn't mean your daddy don't love you. He's not your buddy. He's high and lifted up. He's not who you want him to be. You can't call him and gossip. He doesn't do that. You can't call my name to him. He doesn't respect that. Take us all in prayer. And hear what daddy has to say. Hear me Christian people. Even if you don't like. What a person is doing. I come to tell you learn to respect them. Respect the position. Somebody if you don't. Do right. 
by a prophet. Or one that's called to lead. He's going to deal with you. When you are right, you don't need to fight a battle. That it fights for you every single battle. I'm talking about a daddy in a unique position. I'm talking about a daddy that in a little bit from now you'll understand why I'm so proud of my daddy. I want your daddy named to bring a blessing. His name must bring holiness. I said his name, hallelujah, must bring a blessing. His name brings holiness, hallelujah. His name. Holy is Yahweh Almighty. Amen. The whole earth is full of his glory. People of the Most High, mentoring is different from having a relationship. Matthew 6.10 says, Thy kingdom come, O Lord. On earth as it is in heaven. I come to exercise something today. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. And if it says thy kingdom come. On earth as it is in heaven. Uh, then whatever is going on in heaven. Needs to be duplicated down here in earth. Uh, amen somebody. And the only way we can duplicate this. Uh, is time for us. Amen. Uh, to take Please take a position, uh, take up the holies of holies, amen, and begin to reciprocate, uh, amen, what's going on uh, in the heavenly places, uh, so then the heaven can come down here, uh, and the glory of Yahweh uh, can begin to fill our souls, uh, amen, the angels are shouting in heaven, uh, believers, we need to start shouting down here, uh, and when you begin to shout down here, uh, it ricochets back to heaven, uh, and we begin to get on an unusual road. Uh, something different begins to happen. Uh, something begins to shake. Uh, something begins to bake. Uh, because of presence, uh, what Yahweh said, uh, it will begin to begin to internalize and externalize. Uh, the power from the Holy Spirit uh, will begin to navigate uh, from house to house, uh, heart to heart, body to body, mind to mind, and soul to soul. Uh, you need to understand that Yahweh does not see what he doesn't mean. Yahweh does not do because he wants to please you. He's doing because his word stands predominant. Yahweh wants us to understand when you and I didn't even understand the power of prayer. There was a grandmother somewhere praying. There was a granddaddy somewhere praying. There was somebody that was praying. Lord, remember the infant. Father, cover the child. And bless me to the name of Yahweh. Today we're at the place huh, where you know God for yourself. Huh? You know your daddy for yourself. Huh? You understand who he is. Huh? You know how he walks. Huh? You know how he talks. Huh? Somebody said he walks with me. Huh? He talks with me. Huh? He tells me that I am his own. Huh? I know that you know that. Huh? Can you now huh, begin to exercise down here? Huh? That the manifested glory. Huh? That the 
is in the heavenly court, hallelujah, can come down and manifest within our home, manifest in every aspect, that we ain't learning to have to walk with our heads down. We ain't no longer had to say, why me? We ain't no longer had to say, if I had known, somebody would have prayed. We already on the map. We already on the chart. We need to exercise. These dreams are bigger than ours. I've exercised the power of prayer in of the fullness. I've exercised what is faith in fullness. I've exercised what it is to be still and know that he is Yahweh. Am I talking to somebody today? I need somebody to join me to know what it is to say. All old power is given unto Yahweh. All old canopy will be broken when Yahweh says so. No matter what stone cloud, when you call and daddy, when you call and daddy, he will deliver. When you put your trust, when you walk behind him, when you talk behind him, when you follow protocol, heaven begin to shake. Heaven begin to give a sound down here. Heaven begin to give signs of the time. Can somebody hear me today? I'm talking about my daddy. The best days are ahead. Oh God Almighty, because I've renewed my prayer vow. I renewed the constantness of him. I know what to say first. What I got to drop off. What I can't do. But somebody loves me. And I can say glory, hallelujah. My daddy loves me. Daddy, daddy, he showed up. Holy Ghost. Daddy has a plan for victory. I said, Daddy has a plan for victory, somebody. Oh, if he doesn't have a plan for you, he has a plan for Merlin Dennis. If he has a plan for Jamaica, he has a plan for America. If he has a plan for Trinidad, he has a plan for Guyana. He's here, he's here. He's everywhere. Ah, somebody needs to understand. A delay is not a denial. He's about to bring an unexpected end. Ah, I said, Daddy has a plan. Oh, bless the name of Yahweh. So when you believe that you can attack, I said when you believe that you can attack, if you only know my story. Oh God, if you only know my green pastors. I said if somebody only know my story. If you've ever been in my green pastor, you know why I can say daddy. You know what I can say to have a friend. He's everything to me. Is a lily of the valley. Oh, he's a bright and morning star. He tell me every care. Hello, somebody to roam. In trouble, that is my comfort. I say, I hope you hear me, somebody. I say, in trouble, that is my comfort. In peace, he's my comfort. In my sleep, that is my comfort. He's my all in all. I want to tell somebody, but that's when I think of what my daddy has done for me. My soul begin to shout hallelujah. I say hallelujah. He break the prison bar. He had loose doctors. He has fight the fight. And he said you're my child. Be still. He said be still. I want to tell somebody. You're looking at my face. I want to tell you a testimony. I bless the name of Yahweh today. Holy Ghost today. I said, Daddy. Oh, Daddy, 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 Daddy. I went. Oh, bless the name of Yahweh. I went last week, Friday. The doctor said, I want you to come. And when I went to the doctor last Friday, I said, that Doctor, I was just here the other day. What happened? He said, I'm not comfortable. Hallelujah. He said, I want to send you to a specialist. I said, for what again, Doctor? Oh, bless the name of Yahweh. And when I went to the doctor, he said, something is bothering me. And I keep after looking back at your charts. And when the doctor said that, I said, okay. I said, you want blood again? He smiled and he said, yes. So I stretched the hand out. And they did what they had to do, and I left. Because I know where my daddy is. 
And by Monday morning, and Sunday rather, I'm going to tell you my business because my life is an open book. I got up. I heard a voice said to me, go and wash your hair. And of course, I said, we're open now. Hallelujah. And I'm living in America over 38 years. And I heard a voice said to me, I want you to go outside, find a place, and you're going to wash your hair. Uh -uh. It was amazing, but it happened. Thank you, Daddy. Hallelujah. Oh, glory this hour. By Monday morning, while supplicating and doing my due according to the Holy Spirit, the phones were just going crazy. Every doctor seems to know my name. And I want to give you the synopsis real quick. They said they can't wait for my head is packed with information. Did you hear me? <laughs> oh, God, I thank you, Holy Ghost. Huh? They said they can't wait. I said, but I need to have time to plan. And when they're talking to me now, it's Monday, and everybody, they're in a frenzy. But I know my daddy was with me. I said, okay. I hung up the phone. And it seems I've believed that my children, they were calling as often as my children would. But this time, they were making preparation for me to get to the hospital. You don't hear me, somebody. And while I was doing that, hallelujah, the doctor called, he said, don't worry, it's one hour procedure. I said, doctor, I'm yet to see anything that has to do with artery, one hour. And he said, don't worry, but glory be to God right now, look at me now. I was on that table for two and a half hours. Come on, somebody. Oh, God, I bless your name, Holy Ghost. And when I got off the table, hallelujah. I heard the doctor said, you prayed from the beginning to the end. I wish somebody could just glorify Yahweh with me. I'm talking about a daddy, amen, that supersedes everything. I'm talking about a daddy, hallelujah, today, that in spite of what they went, whatever veins they had to take out, I can come today to tell you that daddy is a deliverer. My daddy open, he operates, he takes care of his own. He is in the miracle working business. My daddy specializes in the things that are impossible. The reason I have to cry, hallelujah, because my daddy supersedes everything. My daddy continue to tell me, I am who I say I am. Wake up people of the most high. Learn how to trim your lamb and get to daddy. Learn how to take all the things that are besetting you. Learn how to bring all uh, oh, the unwanted, uh, everything uh, that will prevent in you uh, from your deliverance, uh, from your victory. Oh, God Almighty, uh, and specialize. Uh, he recognized how awesome he is. Uh, he was wounded uh, for your transgression. Uh, ah, he bruised for you and our iniquity. Surely he bore uh, all our sorrow uh, and by shame our stripes are there, I know I'm healed, he wrapped me up, he tied me up, he tangled me up, he said I am who I said I am, my daddy, he gave your daddy full appreciation, somebody needs to understand, he's one of a kind, he's on time, he's not emotional. He's not emotional. He's not. He's not emotional. I said he's not emotional. Shemusakari. He works. 
and he operates and what is rightfully yours. Hallelujah. I come to tell you right now. Stop packing your basket with emotions. When you're born from above. Just like he did then. He's going to do it now. You don't hear me. I said when you're born from above. The same God, the same Yeshua, the same Jehovah Jireh that did it for me time and time again. The same one that said break down just as I am without one plea God. But as your blood was shed for me. Daddy, I come. I'm seeing too much with believers. If we're safe, why are we not exercising these principles? Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. He doesn't come, Mayuko Sandalabor, Shemonte Abakude. Holy God, when you want him. Oh, but it's on time, it's on time. Oh, start telling him, thank somebody. Oh, for he's about to exercise in your specialty right now. Ah, he's about to lift a standard. Oh, just put away, put away. All the things are heavily beset you this hour. Oh, come before him, come into his presence with thanksgiving. Oh, and into his court with praise. Ah, Yahweh, strong and mighty. Oh, mighty, mighty deliverer. Oh, your present help is here. Ah, your time of trouble is here. Ah, daddy, all knows, he understand. Oh, daddy doesn't top up somebody. Oh, your daddy only give you a full up. Mighty God, mighty God. Daddy wants somebody to know. Ah, he's on the dial, but you got to get inside. You got to shut that door. Shut out the outer misery. Shut out the outer complaint. Stop asking him for what you desire. But he said, Dad, let your will on earth be done as it is in heaven in my life. Daddy, not what I ask, but whatever thou seest fit. Daddy, not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit. Hello, Daddy. Hello, my Daddy. Can somebody cry, Daddy? Can somebody say, deliver me? Can somebody say, open the prison bar? I want to tell somebody, I remember what happened with Abraham and Sarah. Oh, God Almighty. When Abraham got there, he said to Sarah, tell them I'm your brother so they won't kill me. Sarah, somebody, Sarah said, I am his brother. The Bible tell me that the, the, the priest, uh, the king, oh, he took Sarah and he slept with Sarah. But my daddy, I said, daddy showed up. I said, daddy showed up. He dealt with Abraham. You can't touch Yahweh's children because daddy's going to show up and show out. You need to understand when you got a daddy when you got a real daddy when you got a daddy that is not form or fashion when you got a daddy you can tell anybody yeah is real I'm talking about my daddy don't be distracted with this my daddy Already took me to Zion Hospital. 
and the dress is in the courts. You don't hear me. I feel my daddy, he took me to Zion Hospital. And the rest in his courts. I'm standing tall. Yes, sir. Mm. I'm standing tall. Because when I think of the bruises, say God. When I think of when he was carrying that cross. He was going from Pilot Hall to Calvary. Mm. It wasn't for him. It was for me and it was for you. When you're calling him, how many thanks have you given him before you make your request known? How many times have you looked at him as a father against thee have I sinned? How many times were you quick to become a siren? To walk in the seat of a discipleship. You need to wake up. And trim your lamps. For you to experience the testimony. Like others do. You got to walk. You got to talk. By the word. Hey ma. Okay, she. I want to tell somebody. A fellowship with your daddy is different from a relationship. But they need to go together. There's a hands for fellowship that intertwines with the relationship. Stop with the pity party. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. But this is how I come to tell you to consider your ways. Consider your ways. Is it pleasing to Jehovah? Is my walk acceptable? Is my talk acceptable? And say just a closer walk with you, yeah. Grant to Joshua if my plea. Daily walking close to thee, let it be Holy Ghost. When I sit and I think of what he has done for me from February until now, had it not been him who would be on my side, where would I have been? Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Mm. I want to tell somebody that is watching me. Yahweh wants to come. But how can he come when you're still babbling? How can he come? When your heart is not indicting. I got a daddy. You do too. But what is your relationship with your daddy? Do you have a seasonal relationship? Do you have an intimate relationship? Mahayo. Jesus. Holy Ghost. You'll be saying, I don't need him now. But I'm here to tell somebody a lot of times, the way you treat your heavenly king, your commander and chief, is just the way you treat your carnal daddy. But when they exchange a cross for a crown, there must be a difference. When you say goodbye world. You have stepped over from one side to the next. Mighty God, this is one time. Oh, shema, kunda, you second, la mahande. God, I lift every 
Christian, never believe her in your care, huh? Lord, those that don't understand what it is to invest their all into you. Father, those that don't understand, hallelujah, what it is to leave everything to you. Oh, God, those that desire to hear their own word and receive it like a revelation. Oh, today, Daddy, I ask that you will show up and show up that somebody will understand that you cannot be compared. You are the supreme being. You are the alpha. You are the Omega. You are the Jehovah Jireh. I hear Yahweh is telling me to tell somebody, stop asking what your purpose is. You need to know who he is, what his manuscript is, and then you can ask what your purpose is. Yahweh said to tell somebody until you know to walk with the word and let the word speak to you and let the word revelate to you. Then you're going to be having issues and feel like your daddy's never there. But he said, tell my children to go back to who I am. Go back to the word. Read my word. Speak my word back to me. Ah, your kids skip some and do some. Come on, somebody. When you got a daddy, when you don't do right, you're being punished. When you got a daddy, he punish you, but he still love you. When you got a daddy, no matter what you do, that daddy's going to brush you off. He's going to say, sit there. You're on time out. But it never gives upon you. Did you hear me, somebody? He is still with you, but is waiting for you to shake off and awake to the morning sacrifice. He's waiting for you to say, Father, I've heard you. I've heard you over land and sea. But I want no Holy Ghost to turn from all the things that is besetting me. So every can't come down in my life where I am. So your glory can consume. So your glory can sterilize. Your glory can re-eradicate everything that is holding me back. Yahweh is here. He wants to deliver. He wants to show up. He wants to give you everything. But your hand is too short. It's time to stretch up your hand in the man that still the water. The man that calmed the sea. His name is Yeshua. His name is Abba Father. His name is Jehovah Jireh. His name is Daddy. Shema Okute. Rubo Shekanda Lemiosa. Elemuyo Sekanda Labahash Nikutari. Rabba She Kutulimihanda. Rebebe kushi mama satala maunde. Yaba kushende le biasa. Ole Jesus. Roche kanda la baus de kolobo hande. Rauma mama sikonde le biasa tala mande. Yahweh is in the la mahande. He wants to kushenda la mahande ke. He's above the government somebody. I say he's above the immigration. He's above the lawyers. He's above the judge. He's above your children. He's above your husband. He's above everything on earth. Why can you trust him? Why can you cast all your cares? Why can you follow him? He said, follow me. And I will make you fishers of man. He said, follow me. Learn of me. Learn of your father. Leave the things that is not of Yahweh. Shema Kote. He is uncomparable. He cannot be compared. I've proven him. Look at me. I'm not ashamed. Because he has my back. Mose Kandalabausni. Oh God Almighty, she Mosaya. Can you just look to your father where you are? Just look how malicious you can be as a child. If he tell you no, you feel you want a yes. Come with me, church. If he says that's not for you, you feel that you could fast 
and he's going to give it to you. Mushe kandala ba husne. Me o kota ya kumba raba ba kushe. Robo shendala ba ukunda le biasa. Ma ya kunda la ba sikenda ya ba kuse. Aonwashe kandala biya come to tell you. Thy will be done. Ma uko senda le biasi. O kinda le biasa tala kunde be kasha. Stop taking up your old baggages. Stop putting what you want to put. And say, I can fast to move this. When daddy say no, it is no. And if daddy say yes, it is yes. When daddy say it is well, holy master to the kundala ba hesne. I want to tell somebody there's karma in the atmosphere. Be careful. He promised that nothing will go unpunished. Ah, bless your name, Holy Ghost. Yes, Today I said, turn, somebody turn. Go back to your dad. That cannot be compared. Bow yourself before him. Father, against thee, the only have I sinned. Father, the only hallelujah. Shekonda la ba ise kanda ba yukunde. Rabba ba usi kanda la ba asni kutebe kunde bikusa. But because of who you are, yeah, I've messed up, but you're still my daddy. I thank you for never leaving me. Thank you for never turning your back on me. My keshanda la ba siko la ba forgive me kenda la ba handi. And try me one more time today, Father. Oh, God, help me to walk with your word in my heart. That I will never talk on the leba, seek on the leba, end. But I will trust in the leba, in my car, in the leba, in car. May the peace of Elohim, my car, rest upon you. As you grant your peace in no other name but in care of the Holy Spirit. I pray you will watch between you and I as we continue to march the march of victory. As we continue to run and not be, we will walk and not faint. May the Christ in me grow. Greet the Christ in you, hallelujah, as we continue to bask in his glory and to look constantly at to our shepherd, our father, our all in all, the one that cannot be compared. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, Holy Ghost. May the life I live, the Holy Ghost, speak for me. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. 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 Jesus, Jesus. 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 Salamasi, Colombo, Delebe, 